Good morning, it's Friday, December 16th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Yes and No. And our scripture is Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, where Jesus says, Just say a simple, yes I will, or no I won't. Anything beyond this is from the evil one. Humpty Dumpty made his appearance as a riddle in the late 18th century. His presence has graced virtually every literary idea push, from Mother Goose fairy tales to edgy political satire. Alice of the Looking Glass in Wonderland has a conversation with Dumpty the Talking Egg. I don't know what you mean by glory, Alice said. Humpty Dumpty smiled contemptuously. Of course you don't. Till I tell you, I meant there's a nice knockdown argument for you. But glory doesn't mean a nice knockdown argument, Alice objected. When I use a word, Humpty Dumpty said, in a rather scornful tone, it means just what I choose it to mean, nothing more nor less. The question is, says Alice, whether you can make words mean so many different things. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be master, that's all. Alice was too much puzzled to say anything, so after a minute Humpty Dumpty began again. They have a temper, some of them, particularly verbs. They're the proudest. Adjectives you can do anything with, but not verbs. However, I can manage the whole lot. Impenetrability, that's what I say. Well, the riddle of the Dumpty is much too dark for children, and therein lies the point. We can be as imperceptible as we wish, skewing the meaning and therefore the intent of our words. Jesus says that's too dark and evil for a believer. A simple yes or no is clear, unmistakable, and wholesome, and that is rather the godly point. To be any different than thou shalt not, or thou shalt, when it comes to what thou dost, crosses the boundaries of love. And for Christ, that is the utmost concern, because it's the benchmark of godly character. To deceive, even with a so-called child's riddle, is to be Satan's offspring. In our contemporary culture, truth, unvarnished and untarnished, is just as uncomplicated and uncommon as it's always been. From interpreting economic forecasts to explaining a new law's intent and purposes, politicians have danced with truth as you would dance with molecules of coronavirus, just as far from being pinned with your words as possible. The shade of darkness of Sir Humpty's word penetrability is directly proportionate to what's at stake for the dissembler. The most telling illustration of this in my memory is from 1998, when the grand jury asked President Bill Clinton if there was any improper relationship between himself and staffer Monica Lewinsky. The president's dumpty moment surfaced when he responded, It depends on what the meaning of the word is, is. For you today, for anyone with a reasonably sized vocabulary, it's always a temptation to hide behind a word wall. Jesus, ever the master at punching through deceptive walls, is never taken unawares by any attempt to cover the truth. Following him means you will let your yes and no stand on nothing less or more. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.